Hello, hello, and welcome back to more DML. So, today we will be finishing the Dawn to Dusk Wing event, and you can see we have a level 40 Bludgeon Dragon fully enchanted, and he's pretty upgraded on his actual elements as well. So, this guy is like way overkill for the event. Realistically, you can finish off this event with like a level 35 ish, I'd say, Bludgeon Dragon. But, you know, I did it all preemptively for the event. So we are against three level 40 dragons with upgraded attacks, but none of them are actually enchanted. So, our little bludgeon dragon here is almost going to one-shot all three of them. Ain't that nifty. But, yes, overall, if you manage to get lucky with the bludgeon, dra bludgeon dragon breeding early, this event was not too difficult. But there we go, congrats! There is our beautiful little Duskwing Dragon in his glory. So, that means the event is done, and then we get this little screen here that says the event is over. Congrats, trainer! You've completed the event with flying colours. Then we got a winking agent dragon. I love the little stickers that they have, but, you know, that's another three to four days-ish of the event that we don't really have to worry about doing anything now. So that is very, very nice. And if we go into our inventory, where are you? Ah, uh, here he is. I have to say, again, I was not expecting the Duskwing Dragon to actually have the plant element. I thought it'd be like light or something. But either way, we'll pop him in and he will take just under a day to finish hatching. So overall, I'm very happy that we got two new epic dragons. Two dragons that have literally never been in the game before. But I still have my problems with the event. And, you know, to all the people that are still trying to breed the Bludgeon Dragon, it, it just doesn't feel fair. You know, that every time you're breeding Emerald Dragons and Tiger Dragons and random garbage that you don't even need over and over, there's a 14 and a half hour breeding time, for example, that's not what we want. So, I do feel your pain if you still have not been able to, you know, actually partake in the event so far. You know, I do feel bad, and I hope that the next time an event like this comes out, they do improve on it. And uh, maybe don't use the same map as what we had in the original Divine event in future. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna... I'm so BM about that, because that's the thing that's, like, upset me the most. The fact that the map is just repeated. It's just the same one that we've had before in the past at some point. It's very, very depressing. But... Anyway, you may or may not have noticed, I literally have not been... Well, I haven't even been home for the last two days, but I have not been on DML either. We have so many gifts to actually claim, but the thing is, they're all going to turn into gold. Because I've got the max amount of portal gems that we can actually have. That's how long it's been since I've just sat down and, you know, done a ton of fights. It's been a while. And um, I have to say, if you if you can tell, or if you are noticing that maybe I'm a little bit more weird than usual, I am currently in absolutely severe pain. Just want to throw that out there, uh, because I actually have a UTI, if you know what a UTI is. Um, I'm not going to go into details, but I, I couldn't walk today, so I couldn't even come home, basically. But anyway, what else do we have going on? We've got some starter chest bundles out here at the moment. I don't really like them, to be honest. I know that when I first got enchantment materials, I was like, hey, you know, low quality materials, I need more of them. I wish I could disenchant my big materials. Oh god, no, I'm glad that we never had that option, to be honest, because it might feel like you want them, but you realize later on when you need like 7 billion divine materials in like the highest grade, that you really, really don't want to ever be disenchanting the big materials that you have. Ever. That was that was probably one of the, the stupidest things I've ever wanted in this game. The ability to disenchant enchantment materials. Oh god, I'm so glad that there isn't that option. And to anyone else thinking the same thing, you'll realize, you'll realize eventually why that's a bad idea. But, of course, tomorrow is the 13th, and you know what that means? That means, technically, it is the start of the new Divine event, and by that, what they actually mean is the, the info-giving period will be coming tomorrow. 
So, they will be giving out, like, sort of teaser stuff, like they have been with the stone tablets and that, but it'll probably be more defined. Like, they'll probably actually give us info on brand new dragons come tomorrow or something like that, but the divine event itself as a whole is beginning tomorrow. So, if you've got gems, don't spend them, unless you want to spend them on the bludgeon, obviously. But hoard your gems, don't put too much stuff into, or don't put long timers into the farms and such. Even though it might not be for another week until we get the main event. It's just better to make sure you don't fill up everything that you have. Because the worst thing in the world would be if there's like some special new divine event coming out and you can't even participate in it. So make sure sure that you are ready, prepped, and um, if you can, try and level up your team to be as even in levels as you can. Because you know, if we get a castle event or some sort of, I don't know, other challenge or some weird thing, Having your team at a close-ish level will probably help you out quite a lot because then you'll have a ton of elements that you can use and you can delve straight into the events. So that is like some of the best advice that I can give you. But overall, I'm very much looking forward to seeing what we're going to get. And I'm hoping that it's going to be a lot better than the Dawn to Duskwing event itself. Again, I'm happy about the dragon because it's cool, but that event needs a redo. So I'm hoping we don't get, like, the same thing come the Divine Event, but oh well. We'll see about all that tomorrow or whenever they give us all of the info. For now, I am trying my best not to pass out. And, um, luckily, DML is very calming. Or as calming as you can get. So... You know, I did go to London yesterday, like I said, and that's where a lot of my pain has come from. I have to say though, Jesus, it was busy. Holy God. Because the thing is, I, we, I went up with someone to meet someone else at the airport. And of course it is that time where all the kids are off school and it's like football frenzy in England at the moment because they all wanted to win. Luckily, they all lost, so now everyone will shut up about it and won't pack the trains. But it was, like, probably one of the worst days ever that you could go into, like, a huge city. Um, and uh, it was very painful being in there. So hot. Every train you got onto, you were squashed in, like, sardines. Like, if you've ever seen those Tokyo trains, it was basically like that. Um... Yeah, not, not a great day to be going out in the middle of London, is all I have to say. Although I did see, like, multiple people that I knew. Like, I don't know how I somehow managed to run into so many people that I know when it's such a big place. But hey, I guess that's, that's just life, I suppose. It just wanted to remind me of the people that I was hoping that maybe I would never encounter again. But, life has a very strange way of bringing those people back to you. So yes, the random people that I saw were all people that I thought I would never actually see ever again. But, you know, it is what it is. For now, I am back at home. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do, so I cannot sleep. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'll have like a hot chocolate put like an ice pack around my whole body or something and then we'll see where where it goes from there and I'll have to like watch some random stuff all night I don't know whether that's gonna be like the normal TV shows or something else God knows but I am trying my best I'm trying my best to give you a video today it was a lot of effort but you know, I'd, I'd do it for you, because I love you. Um, let's go claim this. What else do we have to do? Fight five battles, complete a, qu a clan quest, and train a dragon. Eh, whatever. I will do that later on tonight. So, for now, like I said, I'm happy that the event is done, but not happy about the event overall. But either way, 
at least we did get to try out a new event type, and now we've got a level 40 fully enchanted bludgeon dragon that we're never gonna use again. But, you know, at least we can remember it. You know, it's the first event of its type, so it's gonna be something that's gonna stick with us, and we're always gonna remember this event, and... You know, I hope that it gets better. So, Mr. Bludgeon Dragon, thank you for being our experimental hamster this time around. But anyway, I have to go. So, thank you for joining me today. I'll be back very soon, hopefully, in a lot better spirits, a lot better in body, <laughs> let's say. But until next time, I will see you then.